Today I have a fun idea for some Thanksgiving leftovers. It's a turkey pie, which is pretty common, I guess, but this turkey pie uses not just the turkey, but also some of the stuffing, some of the cranberry sauce, and it's all baked together in a nice deep dish pie with an open top. It's really delicious, very inviting, and a great way to use up leftovers if you're looking for something a little bit different. Cut up three carrots in about quarter inch dice, and you're gonna start sauteing this in some butter, four tablespoons unsalted. Then add some leeks. This is two leeks that have been cut up into quarter inch pieces, and I soak it in water to remove any grit. I should probably dry these off, but <laughs> just gonna shake them off. I used leeks here because my mom has a CSA and she had a bunch of leeks in her refrigerator after Thanksgiving last year, so that's what I used. If you have white onion or even yellow onion, you could certainly replace it with that. I'd do like a cup and a half of diced onion. The thing about these leftover pies, when I'm at my mom's house after Thanksgiving, I just go into her refrigerator and I take everything out and then I just start cooking stuff. So anything that I make, at her house, it's usually sort of winging it with what I find in the drawers. I mean, that's how I cook at home too, so it's not really all that different. This is a teaspoon of fresh thyme. The carrots go in, that was three carrots, quarter inch dice. My goal at the end of a Thanksgiving weekend is to have enjoyed all of the bounty of the late fall all weekend long. So we eat a lot of vegetables, especially the day after Thanksgiving. Season with some salt and pepper. There's a lot of butter in this, and you're probably wondering, why, why, Sarah, why so much butter? Well, I'm making a roux. This is a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, which is going to thicken the liquid that's gonna surround the turkey mixture, so you need something to cook the flour in, hence the butter. Cook for, I don't know, about 30 seconds, maybe up to a minute to get rid of any rawness on your flour. It should smell a little bit toasty when it's ready to add the liquid, and that's two and a half cups of chicken broth. Turkey broth is even better. Obviously, if it's the holidays and you have a turkey, leftover turkey carcass, you should make your own. Don't throw away all that great flavor. I like to take the turkey apart right after Thanksgiving, get the bones into a pot and make broth so that my refrigerator isn't full of like a half eaten turkey. Break it down and put it into containers. It takes up a lot less space. I'm gradually adding this liquid and stirring it so that it doesn't form lumps. Once you've added about half, you can add it a little bit more quickly. You're also gonna need a potato. This is one potato, you cut it into about half inch depth. These are only gonna cook for about seven, eight minutes, so you cut them pretty small. Basically what you're making is a pot pie filling. You guys have made pot pie fillings before, right? Or like chicken and dumplings, it's very similar. Before it comes to a boil, you add your potato and then you bring everything up to a boil together, reduce it to a simmer and cook for about six to seven minutes, just until the potatoes are tender but not mushy because it's gonna continue cooking in the oven. So when your potatoes are tender, that'll take, like I said, six to seven minutes, stir in two cups of cooked, shredded or cubed turkey and then let it cool. I already have my pie crust rolled out and in my deep dish pie plate. You guys, I've got great lessons on making pie crust and rolling pie crust and all of that stuff on MarthaStewart.com, so check it out. So here's my stuffing. It's a cup of stuffing. You're gonna put that in the bottom of your pie plate. Dollop with about, it's a total of a cup of cranberry sauce and I'm gonna use half inside and then half on top, but about halfway through the cooking. So half the cranberry sauce. and then all of the filling. The filling should be fully cooled, otherwise it'll melt your pie crust and you don't wanna do that. You want your pie crust to stay nice and flaky. So add your filling. It should fill a nine inch deep dish pie plate really well, or nine and a half inch, whatever that actual inch amount is. <laughs> Fold the edges over. Now this is a deep dish pie crust. We have the recipe on MarthaStewart.com. So it's a slightly larger recipe than the regular pat brise that we use, so check that out. Fold the edges over and brush with egg wash. This is just an egg, nothing fancy, just an egg that's been beaten. Have your oven preheating to 375 degrees and then bake it for 40 minutes and then dollop the remaining cranberry sauce on top. 
That's just so that it doesn't burn. I had tried putting it on at the beginning and it burned a little bit. So 40 minutes, dollop with the remaining cranberry sauce, and then another 30 to 40 minutes. Check the bottom to make sure it's completely golden brown before you take it out. Isn't that beautiful? I know I say that all the time, but this time I really mean it. Look at it, it's golden brown. Juices were bubbling, the bottom crust was completely golden brown, that's how I knew it was done. Take it out, let it cool. Really guys, let it cool. It should be still warm, but let it cool. And then you get to eat it. It's gonna be really great. I highly recommend trying this recipe with your Thanksgiving leftovers. Happy holidays. If you're looking for more recipes like this, click like and subscribe. Hi guys, as some of you may have noticed, we're getting close to one million subscribers. Isn't that amazing? That's awesome. So if you guys like our shows and you want to see more videos like these, make sure you subscribe to our channel by clicking here. Or click here to check out more great recipes on MarthaStewart.com. Thank you.